Mmm, you want some cauliflower macaroni for dinner tonight? Mmm, stick around and I'll show you how to make it. For this recipe, you're going to need a bag, a pound at least, of large shell pasta, some cauliflower florets. Now you can buy the heads of cauliflower and I suggest buying two heads to a pound of pasta. So I have two bags of these today that I'm going to use. So what I'm going to do is start putting the cauliflower in the water and let it boil for five minutes. And then after five minutes, I will add the pasta. The cauliflower is now starting to boil. So I'm gonna set my timer for five minutes. Okay, now that it's been five minutes with the cauliflower, I'm going to toss in my macaroni. Of course, when I open the bag, I like tore the bag. So now I'm gonna dump this in. And then I can't forget to add some salt. And give that, as my mom says, a zhuzh. <laughs> and then we're just gonna cook this together until the pasta is done. Okay, so the pasta's done and I wanna keep some of the starch water so I'm gonna collect some of it because we're gonna use it in just a little bit. So I'm gonna gather some of that, put it in this mug. Okay, now I'm gonna drain the pasta and put it back into the pot. So now we're gonna add some seasonings to this and get it ready. So what I do here is I have two really big cloves of garlic. I might do two, but I'm gonna start off with one and then taste it and then see if I need more. Okay, so I have this big guy, this big clove of garlic. I'm gonna use one and if I, I'm gonna taste it and then if I think it needs more, I'll add more. But I'm gonna mince this up into the pot. That's a big one. Needed some muscles for that. I might only need this one guy. Okay, so now that it's drained, I have the garlic in here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add olive oil. I don't know how much. Again, everything is eye, everything is taste. So, so sorry. Okay. And I'm gonna and then at this point, your cauliflower kind of breaks down and gets in there with the pasta shells, see? Just breaks down into kind of like a mush. Sometimes you'll have whole pieces, but nope. Now, if you have anchovy paste, this would be so good. I cannot find any out here. I'm gonna have to go up to Salt Lake and try to find an Italian store. But I want anchovy paste for this so bad. That would be so yummy in here. Okay, some parsley flakes. Okay, and some ground pepper. And some sea salt. So, I'm gonna mix that up, and I'm gonna add some of this starch water. What I'm looking for is not having it go dry. And like, it's weird. I can't explain, <laughs> it's so hard to explain what I'm actually looking for. Um, but I'm just trying to get it not to be like, I'm trying to get it smooth, I guess, consistency and not tight and 
clumpy, I guess. I don't know. So I'm going to take a bite and see where I'm at. Mmm. Yummy. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. Whew, that's hot. I'm going to add some more salt. And I'm actually going to put another clove of garlic in. Kid you not. So good. You've got to flavor this. Okay. If you don't flavor this good, you're not going to like it if you've never had this before. Okay. You won't. So that's why I wish I had the anchovy paste with this because it would be excellent. So I'm going to put another garlic clove in. It's a big one, but it's worth it, I promise. And then I'm going to add some more oil. And give this a stir. I'm going to give that another taste. Mmm. Oh, that's good. Ooh, that's perfect. Oh, that's so good. I might add a little more salt, a little more pepper. Mmm. There we go. That is cauliflower macaroni. So here's the cauliflower macaroni. So good, so flavorful. But if you like anchovy paste, I'm telling you that this is gonna be so good with it. You could serve it up with um, garlic bread, salad. So I'll get to that part later for our dinner, but I just wanted to show you what cauliflower macaroni looks like. Look at that. Oh my goodness, so good. If you wanna use gluten-free pasta, go right ahead. I've used that with it, it works great. But I'm telling you, this is so good. Um, Definitely put enough oil in here and salt and garlic and mmm, so good. Yum. This is what we're having for dinner on Monday night, cauliflower pasta.